Hi everyone, today I want to have a look at Bezup.io and uh, currently live, don't worry about minus one day, uh, stage three still alive, um, they said they will, um, the programmer will fix this issue, but let's have a look what they're about, what, how much they have raised and all this cool stuff. I just quickly opened their Twitter, 3,800 followers, and they wrote five hours ago that Bessup is at 90% of hot cap. This is very exciting because their hot cap is 16.5 million dollars, and they disrupt a multi-trillion dollar e-commerce market is in here, and it is an official competitor of Amazon. And uh, that's what John McAfee told. Let's have a look at his first tweet. It was 1st of January, as you know, John McAfee predicted uh, Bitcoin $1 million by 2020, by the end of 2020, or he will eat his genitals on public TV. And as you know, he's giving uh, ICO of the week on Mondays, and first ICO in 2018, well, was Bezip and Bezip is he said is distributed version of Amazon.com. It allows simple and secure creation of e-commerce sites searchable in the same manner as Amazon, but with no Amazon as middleman. This could be huge and it is gets in the blockchain world. And he is correct because uh, uh, Bezip is platform for uh, e-commerce and you can set up your, your kind of your uh, e-shop in there like on Amazon but Amazon as you know if you ever been involved on Amazon they charge like 15% commissions even if you're selling an ebook they charge lots of money for you and I've been buying Amazon as a seller as a buyer it's a good experience as a seller it's a terrible experience to be true and it's very hard to reach any anyone in there no one replies they think you need to call that office and that office and they charge lots of money for that and no support whatsoever and here Bezip there will be a first platform blockchain for electronic commercial um, there was a video somewhere I believe and uh, I might turn on while I'm talking about yeah uh, uh, and he did the second one on 6th of January he said I became an advisor to Bezop I, I recommended them recently and, and an early invest in the ICO by the way there was 10,000 registered people and only 1,500 investors so not I believe there was very big uh, contribution amount per person by the way this is not a financial advice this is just for education purpose and when it will hit an exchange, it might just blow up all the minds because people will start researching. There will be so many news. John McAfee will make another tweet like how my how my investment is doing here. Oh, it tries to extend. I'm doing really well. And another couple hundred million bucks. So, and I want to make sure they succeed as an implementation. I love Amazon.com, but I want everyone to have the ability to be their own Amazon if they want to start a new business. By the way, John Bezoff is the richest guy in the world now I think um, he became just very recently I saw some news even today I'm just wondering how does it come up with a Bezip is it just an irony from Bezif? Bezis <laughs> oh it's something really means uh, I believe it means like beer on blockchain I don't know maybe it's an irony but of, of Bezis uh, anyway the name is really cool and yeah, they're really com competitive. So that was about John McAfee. Um, uh, they just made a full website now. So follow their Twitter and they got very active Telegram of 6,000 uh, people with uh, good support. Uh, there is 60 minute a live introduction of them, but um, uh, but let me uh, tell you something like there is 1.9 trillion dollars been in e-commerce in 2016 and uh, yeah without 
uh, I think this is an interview with someone yeah I might I haven't watched it but um, um, there is a white paper uh, yellow paper and uh, some features so it was 1.9 trillion dollars in e-commerce in 2016 and mobile payment volume was 8.6 billion in the United States and it expected uh, to increase uh, by 2021 to 274 billion dollars and some more stats according to Statista worldwide e-commerce sales in 2000 14 being 1.33 trillion dollars and projected to increase to more than 4 trillion dollars by 2020. Uh, so uh, they're saying uh, they're saying that their platform will be easy to use and uh, uh, there will be a multi wallet or uh, ERC20. Um, uh, tokens so can you imagine like purchase something on such a website as Amazon and purchase for example with uh, I don't know Bank or uh, Kenya token or whatever other token you might think of that's just insane by the way uh, one Ethereum is 1929 tokens and ICO is finishing on 20th of uh, uh, January but it might finish earlier as 90% of hard cap is already reached and um, uh, the tokens are for six months long by the team and uh, there will be a buyback program 10% of the token will be purchased back within 24 hours in exchange whatever the price will be that's no really like good news um so there is lots of things a lot of features uh in the basic wallet so here it is how you make a contribution i have checked it there is more than seven thousand transactions so far so it's legit contract you may check it on everscan yourself but uh, let me copy it uh, quickly and uh, I will show you so he is going to ever scan and uh, okay I was wrong about the transaction number there is more than 5,000 transaction but well here it is 7,000 maybe some of those are unconfirmed yet and it's a legit contract smart contract um, well you can view the tokens in here and yeah it's fully legit contract no doubt about that so and the white paper is like yeah, there is a yellow paper uh, there's quite lots of formulas guys like uh, they talking lots about taxes in China I believe they are uh, aiming uh, to China um, uh, and it probably is one of their main markets because like in China it's huge and uh, yeah they're showing how their platform will be added how the smart contracts will be working and stuff like that uh, what else is interesting in here is uh, the team will have a look there as well uh, so uh, there will be a multi-wallet as I said before uh, complete transparency compliant and registered uh, funds distributed it is by back 10 percent legal advising technology development lots of money going to the development uh, that's why they're having an ACM uh, and expanding uh, so they get as they had three stages first and second stage is fully completed and currently they are uh, on the uh, third stage right uh, there is how it will be distributed the tokens about bite bug program and this is the feature they will have proof of order uh, decentralized order management multiple buyer protection which is very important in my opinion um, private key encryptions 
uh, and the value is based on demand for products and services. So this it sounds very very exciting for me. It, the platform will be easy, fast integration. According to their roadmap, they have a roadmap uh, for the next two years. That's uh, that's really good plans. So they plan to be listed like on exchange by 20th January, so straight forward after the ICO, and they will be buy back on already like within 24 hours. That's like wow, didn't see something like that before. They will have decentralized all the management release and merchant wallet release by August 2018, so it's this summer already. And for 2019, in one year time, they got better network and uh, some other more upgrades. Uh, and yeah, that was about um, about the features. Uh, it is a uh, market analysis. So I, uh, so I talked about some of those stats. The white paper is. Uh, is very understandable, but still there is kind of less of formulas and um, not everything was very clear to me. But like mostly there is analysis in yellow paper. There is way more formulas from here, and basic technical technical paper was like wow, it's like it's like written so professional. And I think this technical paper is what they call a the yellow paper. According to the team, uh, the last thing I wanted to mention, there's freaking last questions as well. According to the team, they got advices, John McCarthy, which I talked about, Bruce Levinkin, uh, a top lawyer, a legal advisor. Uh, they got Cave Outlet, so president of Ignition Holding Incorporation. Uh, and they got four members of core team in here. Their joint chief technology officer is 20 years in Fortune 1000 holdings, working in IT uh, for a software division of 3.1 billion dollars. And like he is in IT, SAP, Oracle, Microsoft, SQL servers, and as a Salesforce. This is Salesforce uh, development. Uh, this is incredible why it's like fortune of thousand is like all billion uh, companies um, as far as I know and Simon Disney is one of the most influential marketers of the internet and he is a controls uh, uh, 1.7 million active and loyal uh, customer mailing clean <laughs> this is huge if you will use like his connections in marketing and uh, this recall, this project can be like skyrocketing straight away. Um, and there is two other members, uh, pretty impressive as well. Um, yeah, guys, it was pretty much about the Bezip um, ICO. As you see, they're still alive, and in my opinion, this is very interesting. Read about their white paper, join their Telegram, follow them on Twitter, and hit like um, to this video, comment it, and ask me any questions, and follow my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.